Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic course. This video is the part of the solution series for CSIR NET June 2019 and we are doing this problem 94 of your paper. So it's a problem from partial differential equation and it is of part C. So let us have a look. The general solution Z is equal to ZXY of this PDE is so you have uh, these options in your hand and the problem is uh, given to us for which we have to find out the solution is this x plus y z dot zx plus x minus y z dot zy is equal to x square plus y square now if you have studied Lagrange linear PDE then you can you can actually see it that it is a Lagrange linear PDE and for a Lagrange linear PDE the auxiliary equation is given by auxiliary equation is given by dx over x plus y times z which is equal to dy by x minus y times z which is equal to dz by x square plus y square so so this is what we will get all right now we have these three ratios and using these three ratios what we have to do we have to find out solutions all right now what i will do i will multiply the first ratio multiply and divide the first ratio by x and the second ratio with minus y dy and the third ratio with minus z dz all right so on the denominator part what we will get is this x square uh, z plus xyz minus xyz minus not minus plus y square z and minus x square z minus y square z now what is the benefit of multiplying and divide these x minus y minus z is this that on the denominator you are going to have zero now now because you have zero on the denominator that means it becomes easy for you to integrate so it implies x dx minus y dy minus z dz so your first solution will be given by x square plus not plus actually minus y square minus z square overall 2 is there but we will add uh, we will multiply it on the right hand side to get this all right so this is what we will get as our first solution let us consider is as phi 1 and let us highlight it also now on the second part what we will do we will make a third ratio again but this time we will do it differently we will multiply numerator of dx with y and then we have x dy then minus z dz so if you will do this combination also then you will get the same result all right you can calculate it yourself so if you are calculating it yourself you will get y dx plus x dy minus z dz is equal to zero so you will get y square not a y square actually this time you have different thing so the problem is with this that you have the variable y and there is dx so what you can do is very important over here is that you can write it as dxy and then you have minus z dz so if you will integrate both side you will get xy all right minus uh, yeah everything is fine minus z square by 2 is equal to some constant now if you will take LCM you will get 2xy minus z square which is equal to constant so, all right so phi of 2 so what will be your solution your solution will be a function of phi 1 and phi 2 all right now in the th fourth one we have x cube minus y cube minus z cube so obviously it is incorrect fourth one is obviously incorrect in the third one you have x plus y plus z so third one is also obviously incorrect in the second one you have x square minus y square minus z square then you have z square minus 2xy now see 
this is what you are getting if you will multiply both sides with minus so you will get this it means second one is true now in the first one you have z square minus xy that means it is incorrect why because you don't have two there so first is also incorrect so if you have any doubt regarding this problem you can always ask in the comment section if you have any other doubt you can join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are given in the description part of the video all right so thank you